you went to a back five at your time at Newcastle. That was successful. And there was talk, I think, Steve Bruce, maybe earlier in the season, went to a back four. He's then gone to uh, the back five. Why, why that system? Is it, does it really suit the players that are there? <coughs> yeah, with signing the players that we signed, especially Shar. Shar is a player with quality on the ball. So he have more freedom to go forward and to play from the back. And uh, Lascelles in the middle was a, a strong... Uh, he could be uh, good in the air. And then Dumet, uh, Paul, was on the left side. He's quite clever. He was the one that could play as a left full-back to cover Richie when he was going forward. Or he could play from the back. Then for these uh, three players, it was really good. Uh, Jedlin, that is very quick. And uh, Richie, that he has a lot of energy, were giving us the, the width. And when we signed Almiron, and Almiron, Ayose and uh, Rondon, they linked really well because uh, Almiron can run behind defenders, Ayothe can run behind defenders and also go inside. So we have the width and we have the, the players that they could be behind and we have uh, the, the balance in defence. So in the end, this uh, place, Dubraka was a great signing because he was making the difference from day one when we beat Manchester United. And the two midfielders, one that could pass the ball and one that could uh, tackle and could uh, keep the position, we found the balance. So in the second part of the league, we, we were seventh in the league. So we did really well and the commitment of the players were there. I think that the fans, they appreciate that and they appreciate the commitment of everyone that was there. You're saying you got the balance. We just mentioned about actually Arsenal. So you're talking actually, you almost had uh, seven players behind the ball and you left it to the front three. That got you to the level it got you. You obviously left in the summer. What was your idea then to improve that team and maybe take it even further forward if you could have got certain players uh, from the owner? Yeah, always. If I was guilty of anything, was to work really hard and to have some ambition. So we gave the fans hope that we could go forward, we could improve that. And I'm really pleased that they are doing well. I'm really pleased for the Steve Bruce because he's doing a great job. And that was what I was expecting. So. When you were watching the table, we, we finished uh, 10th and we finished 13th, and you are expecting, OK, the next step is try to do the right things to be in the top 10. But uh, it was not the idea, and it's fine. So, but they still are really pleased because the fans, the staff, the players, everybody was pushing, and everybody was trying to do what I say when I decide to stay in second division. It's a massive club. It has the potential to be... I think that you cannot be talking about some of the teams, and I would not name anyone, that they were ahead of us last year. So then there's a massive difference between the fans and the city, everything. And there was investment in the summer. They've spent big on Joe Linton, Alan Sam Maximan. Were you sort of sitting there thinking, well, why didn't I get that kind of backing? No, not really. I, I know, obviously, you cannot explain everything that uh, happened in, in three years or three years and a half. But... Uh, that's it. So I think for me it's important to, to move forward. So and also for the fans. I'm really pleased because they are doing well. Really pleased for Steve Bruce. And really pleased for the fans and, and everybody involved. So it's, it's fine. And they can do well. But uh, it's another time. It's another league. Uh, it's different. You can see teams like uh, Arsenal or Tottenham, uh, Everton, West Ham, that they have problems this year that they didn't have last year. It's totally different. They are doing well. And hopefully they will continue doing well. But the, the Rafa Benitez love story with Newcastle, would you leave the door open just in case for down sure. the line? So I, I am quite lucky because uh, I have very good relationship with the Liverpool fans, Valencia fans the same, Napoli fans the same, Newcastle United fans the same. So you can say, oh, no, you don't have uh, this, this relationship with these fans. Or that. Yeah, but uh, for a manager... When you go to four or five uh, clubs and then you do really well and you keep the, the, the bond and the relationship with the fans, it's because you have some commitment, not just with the, with the players, with the club, it's also with the city. So I can go to Valencia and it's, it will be very difficult for me to walk in the streets because uh, they will be asking for autographs all the time, but it's the same in Napoli. Or then you say, why uh, Newcastle or Liverpool? Liverpool is... I go by train, you come here by train and always you find a Liverpool fan. And in China, you have Newcastle United fans, Liverpool fans and Valencia fans. And they appreciate that. So it's, uh, for you as a manager, it's, uh, you are really proud of that. And Dalian Yifang fans as well. Oh, believe me, the Dalian, <laughs> people they don't know, but the, the Dalian fans are similar to the Newcastle are United. They? Yeah, and the, and the Liverpool more now, the Newcastle United fans, because they used to win in the past and now they want to go back to the same level. Obviously, they know that it's a project, that it's a, a young team with uh, young players. But, uh, OK, we are doing our, our bits and then hopefully we'll be better.